Hey everyone, um, my apologies that it has been quite a while since my last video uh, but I hope everyone has been doing well. Uh, I've been certainly been busy uh, but recently I started dabbling in a little bit of cryptocurrency investment and if you have uh, done it before you would know that this is one very highly volatile instrument for investment and what it means is that you know there could be big gains or big losses depending on how alert you are to what's going on in the market and how quickly you are to respond uh, but you know being the automation geek that I am um, this certainly sounds like an area where I felt that automation can help so what I've done is I've created a simple automation that can help provide me with the ability to keep an eye on what's going on in the crypto market particularly on the cryptocurrencies that I have bought so far so that I can take uh, action if necessary um, and in you know I intend to share that tutorial to build that automation uh, on this um, over the next couple of weeks uh, but before I go further let me make it very clear that I'm not a financial investment expert and this video is certainly not about giving you financial advice on where to invest your hard-earned cash and so let us start now for this tutorial I'm using CoinSpot uh, one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges in Australia and it makes it easy for those of us who want to start investing in cryptocurrencies. Uh, now, I have been using their services myself and can attest to the ease on which uh, one can use that platform to do just that, investing in uh, cryptocurrencies. Now, if you are thinking of investing in cryptocurrencies but do not know where to go, uh, you can certainly try out CoinSpot by signing up using my link below. Uh, signing up to CoinSpot using my link will help fund my work here at no extra cost to you. Uh, as most of you know, I have been spending time learning and publishing these videos out for free. But before going into the weeds of building this automation, it's probably a good idea to start with a high level picture of what we're trying to achieve here. Starting with having an account on an exchange where we can start trading in, such as CoinSpot. Um, in the cryptocurrency world, it is not necessary to have an exchange, but with an exchange, it just makes things so much easier. Um, once we have an account with an exchange, um, we can then select the coin that we're interested in, uh, as shown in step one there. Um, check how much that coin costs to buy a unit of that coin. Uh, and then we decide we're going to spend, you know, X amount of dollars on buying that coin. And of course, we buy the coin. Uh, what results then is an order transaction with the coin, um, the price at which uh, it was bought and how many units of the coin has been purchased. So in the case of uh, what you see on the screen here, uh, we've bought a Bitcoin, a BTC. Um, the buy price at the time we bought the, the, the coin was $50,000 per coin. Uh, and the amount that we spent on it was $10,000, which resulted in a 0 0.2 units of a coin uh, that we have purchased. Um, now, so this is a transaction. Uh, what we want to do then is to lock down that transaction into our own journal because from here on, what we want to do is to use the automation to track the price of that coin that we bought from the journal uh, and easily see how much that coin has uh, increased in value or decreased in value. Um, and as with all investments, the end goal here is we want to keep tabs on the price so that we are buying low and selling as high as possible uh, to make the maximum profits from it. So let us begin with the end in mind here. Uh, and I'm going to show you the end product of what we're going to build uh, from this set of tutorials um, that I'm building. Um, and uh, essentially for this script or this macro to run, we need to first uh, be logged into the CoinSpot account. Yeah, and it's uh, important to note that we do not want to script or automate the process of logging in because of security reasons. You you want your, your automation to work after someone has manually logged in to that account, as you can see here. So what does the script do? So, um, so I have this script here, um, and let me just show you what it does. Okay, so it starts, um, searches for um, the coin that I have bought. It takes the current 
selling price of the coin. Okay, and it records it and it does so it goes through a list and the list that it goes through is essentially the list of coins that I'm interested in monitoring. As you can see here, um, the moment the script runs and ends, um, it, I get an email like that uh, that tells me here is my coins output CSV file and the coins output files here. If I double click that, it opens in Excel um, and it will actually tell me um, the coin name, um, the buy price when I actually bought it, how many units do I have in my hands right now for that lot, um, what was the current price and you can see uh, the percentage of difference automatically calculated. So I've configured this script to run on an hourly basis so what this means is every hour I will get an update on all the coins that I, that, that I have in my account you know the buy price and the current sell price and the percentage that it has gone up or down so this is a monitor it saves me the trouble of having to log into coinspot every hour to monitor this um, and instead i get a, a a notification at an hourly basis so what we're going to do next is uh, go into setting up uh, the, the the steps uh, and then start going into the tutorial of building this script so let's start by um, going through a video on how to set up an account with CoinSpot. Um, and you can click on the link below the video to go to CoinSpot in which uh, it will be a referral from me. Uh, alternatively, click on register here. Once you're here, put in your email address, put in your password and for the referral code, if you can put in TUP7EV. Um, uh, and for example, that um, okay so you put in a good password uh, and re referral code uh, again is optional um, but if you do put this referral code in here you'll be helping me fund this channel uh, or video that you're watching right now so um, tell coinspot that you're not a robot click on that and that's it your account has been created uh, but to start trading uh, you will need to do a complete a verification where you need to provide uh, uh, driver's license or post passport information um, and then once you have done that uh, it can be it can be done in minutes um, you can then start putting money into your account and then start uh, trading on this platform yeah so for now, I'm just going to uh, skip this step um, so that you can actually come in and you can see your dashboard. So within the dashboard, um, you can then, you know, look at uh, wallets, which are essentially, you know, all the different coins uh, that you can buy. Bitcoin probably being the most famous, as you can see, the price today is $76,248.51 for a single Bitcoin. Um, and this is in Australian dollars and it has appreciated over the last 24 hours 8.7 percent and that's what I mean right with crypto um, the price fluctuations are just off the charts um, and you can see you can sort this list by um, uh, by by you know the the, the, the percentage of um, uh, decrease or increase in the value and you can see certainly at this point in time there's a lot more greens than green than, than red so uh, it's certainly a bullish market uh, as far as crypto is concerned um, but but yeah um, yeah so so that's all you need once you have signed up you have verified you can start depositing funds um, um, and and once you have deposited your funds uh, you can now then go in and buy and sell very easily by choosing the wallet. So, for example, if you want to buy Bitcoin, you open the BTC wallet, you can then buy, right? And then specify how much you want to buy um, and then click on the buy button. And if you have money in your account, that pro process goes through uh, quite, quite easily. Okay, so what do you need next? Let's talk about setup. Uh, of course, you need UI Vision. So let's go to UI Vision. All right, so once you're in UI Vision, uh, you need, uh, I, I recommend to use uh, Google Chrome for this, uh, but it, uh, it does work with Firefox as well. Um, but once you have uh, your browsers chosen, um, go to UI Vision, 
uh, click on one click install and this will install the um, uh, Google Chrome uh, UR extension here click on add to Chrome um, add extension okay and what you will get is a little bar here uh, a little extension icon here um, and I have lots of tutorials talking about this as well so you could just pin it uh, but what do you do need to turn on is uh, a couple of things yeah so we need to come here um, manage this extension and what we need to do is at certain point later down in the tutorial you need to turn this on if you don't want to turn it on right now but I recommend since we are doing setup might as well just turn it on as well allow access to file URLs okay so once you have that um, there's also another thing you need which is um, uh, what we call X modules and you need this because we are going to uh, the, the automation script is going to record the data the the you know the, the the cell prices that you know the data that we're working on it needs to access those things on the local hard disk uh, by default UI vision is not able to access your hard disk so what you want to do is install X modules okay in my case I already installed it that's why you have it here uh, but if not um, uh, uh, you will be able to uh, quite easily install it uh, by, by following this link here. So once you have installed X modules, you'll see this here. Uh, but let me just show you how to install X modules. Um, on this page that uh, UI Vision open up, there's the install X modules. Download this installer, um, which will um, click on that. And there's a Windows version. And once you download that, you uh, install it like how you would install a uh, normal application click on that download there it downloads the file okay so once it's down double click on that okay accept the agreement go next next install um, it, it can't install in this case because I'm actually running uh, so I have it installed but just go next 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 finish done um, and when you have done that, um, when you have done that, uh, you know, when you come to UI vision, as we saw earlier, you will see the status as installed. Yeah. Um, now, uh, I recommend that you put uh, the home folder on your desktop. Uh, so you can see uh, by default, I think it goes to your desktop as well. Okay. And once you have both of these things set up, then we are ready to go, right? So we, we, we are then ready to go to start building the script, which will come more in my next tutorial.